Thank you for joining us at the Palo Fine Wine video blog. My name is Stuart Langer and I'm your host. Hey guys, this is a nice little Riesling that we just introduced here at the store. Uh, this is a, a wine uh, it's called St. Christopher. And so now we're going to read off a whole bunch of words and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's Peace Porter Gold Trofkin Riesling Auslazy. Okay, we say all that to say this. It's from the Mosul Valley. Okay, it's a Riesling grape. Okay, uh, when we talk about Auslazy, that's referring to uh, the time of harvest. So look at it this way. Uh, basically, if, if it's a German Riesling and it says Riesling, that's an earlier harvest. Then if it says Riesling Cabernet, it's a little later. Then if it says Riesling Spot Lazy, it's a little later than that. And then if it says Riesling Auslazy, it's later than that. So the later the harvest, the more sugar content because the, the grapes are riper. And so they've eaten up some of that acidity. Um, and so they're going to be a little sweeter, okay? Um, now this is a peas porter, so we've all heard of peas porters before. So look at peas porter this way. Peas porter is a, a city area. And so look at peas porter like this, and then if it says gold, trough in, it's a section inside of that, okay? And so um, it's, a, it's a specific area inside uh, Mosul, Peace Porter, Gold Trofkin, all right? Um, so it's a really pleasant little Riesling, and surprisingly, you know, I get people in here all the time that tell me, Rieslings are too sweet, they have too much sugar, um, and they really don't, you know, uh, they, they say, I hate Rieslings, and then I pour more of this, and they're like, oh, wow, this is really good, you know, it has some acidity, things like that. Even with this Auslacy, which is a sweeter Riesling, it's still got enough acidity on the back of the palate that it doesn't leave residual sugar in your mouth. When you think about residual sugar, we talk about a soda and how, um, like a Sprite, if you drink a Sprite, it leaves the sugar coating in your mouth. Well, this Riesling's not going to do that because it has enough acidity to kind of you know, give it a little bit of crispness, a little bit of a clean finish. Definitely getting a little melon on the nose, um, honeydew melon. A little bit of white flowers. Um, so in the 2008 vintage, guys, 08 was a really good vintage in Germany. Also, it followed a great vintage in 07. Um, both are great vintages, different vintages because the weather was just different. Um, the 08 don't so have quite as much of this tart acidity. It's a little lighter and a little easier to drink young. Yeah, definitely a little melon on the nose. Mm. Beautiful on the palate. It just wraps the front of your tongue with uh, uh, this little uh, sweet green apple kind of flavor to it. Um, but then on the back of the palate, it's got some crispness. I mean, it finishes dry, um, uh, not not dry like oaky dry, but because of the acidity, um, it, it doesn't it doesn't coat your you know it doesn't leave a sugar coating in your mouth. It actually uh, is kind of crisp. This would be a perfect little wine with some sushi or uh, some spicy Asian food. Um, light spicy Mexican food, you know, if you're doing like a fish taco or something like that, it would actually be kind of pleasant. Maybe a little cantaloupe on the nose. Hmm. This is beautiful. I love it. It's $14.99, so it's very reasonable, especially for an Auslacy. Start pricing Auslacy out there and you'll start seeing $30, $40 on the price tag. So at $14.99, this is a very reasonable bottle. Uh, and a really nice little reason to get into. Uh, one of the reasons why it's cheaper is that there's no ratings on it, so you're not going to see this out and about. Um, and so they're not spending a ton of money on the advertising side of it. Um, so it allows the cost of the bottle to be more reasonable. Uh, so this is St. Christopher Peace Porter Gold Trofkin Riesling Auslazy. It's $14.99 a bottle from the 2008 vintage. Um, I think you'll be really impressed with this wine. Uh, it drinks beautifully. It's got good sweetness to it, but still yet, finishes with some Christmas. Very pleasant wine. Check it out next time you're in Palette.